In this video, I'm going to talk about data visualization. I'm going to extend the ideas of a guy named Edward Tufte. And he actually extended the ideas of a guy named William Playfair. And I'm going to go back and look at one of his old charts, William Playfair's old charts. William Playfair, he created this chart back in the late 1700s to talk about exports and imports to and from England. I'm going to take that chart, I'm going to simplify it, and then I'm going to flip the perspective from England's perspective to the America's perspective. And one thing I hope to demonstrate is, is by removing elements, you can actually simplify the chart and make it easier to understand. Now, remember, Playfair didn't have PowerPoint, so he would have hand-drawn a rectangle, and he would have sliced this in major grid lines like this. He would have added some subgrid lines, a bunch of these. I'll just put all the rest of them right now. Then he drew in a lot of vertical lines. I'll put all the rest of them in now. So now that he has a beautiful piece of graph paper, he can start graphing on. And across the bottom, or the horizontal axis, he added years. He used um, pounds, of course, because he was English. But then he put in major values for the grid lines, a billion pounds, two million pounds, three million pounds, and four million pounds. And he also labeled the sublines. So he had a lot of data labeled here. And notice he uses an axis on the right-hand side versus the left-hand side. Now I'm just going to start plotting points. I'm going to plot exports first. Since exports are perceived as good, I'll make that green. And I'll just put a couple values in, move it over by year, and then plot a point. And I'm using the same values as Playfair used. And I'll just put the rest in now. Now I'll, I will connect all the dots. I'll put in a nice smooth line. And I'll fade all those out too when I got my line in. Make it easy to understand or see. Now I'm going to plot imports. And these are imports from North America. And again, I'll plot all the points, the same points that he had. And I'll plot in this in red, of course. And now I'll make a nice smooth curve to fit all these dots. And now let me fade those out. Now I will fade away the subgrid lines and the associated values. Notice the chart looks a lot cleaner and I think easier to understand. Now I will fade out the vertical lines. Now I'll shade in the balance of trade in favor of England, which is the green area. The balance of trade against England, which is that red area there. And finally, the balance of trade for England. Now, if the chart's being used to demonstrate the balance of trade before and after the Revolutionary War, I think that this chart does that easily, and it looks like it favored England quite a bit. Now I'm going to modernize this. I'm going to put the years at the bottom like we do now, the bottom of the horizontal axis. Shift over the vertical axis and also the values too. I'll shift those over. And I'm going to actually put in a horizontal line, dark line. I'm going to shift down exports. And I'm going to label the line instead of having a legend. So I think it makes it easier to read and understand. And I'll do the same thing with imports. Now let me add a title, and also the years. And again, if the chart is to demonstrate exports and imports and balance of favor of England against, then it becomes very simple to read this chart. Now if I go, now if I go back to the original chart, you can see it's a black and white chart. It's kind of hard to read. And using some modern techniques of coloring and simplifying, it becomes a lot easier to understand the chart. After America declared war, I guess its independence against England, the imports from North America to England dropped off dramatically. Now I'm going to change perspective, and I am going to swap North America and England. 
So instead of it being from England's perspective, it's going to be from North America's perspective or America's perspective. And it's also for the same uh, time period from 1770 to 1782. Now let me just convert this chart a little bit and I'm going to have exports to England and imports from England and it kind of changes a little bit you can see let me color it there you go like this now it becomes really self-evident America saw a real trade imbalance with England it was balance against England is in the red balance in favor of America in the green and balance against America again in the red Obviously, when America declares independence against England, it really hurt its exports to England. Declaring war on your trading partner really hurts trade, obviously. So in this video, I tried to compare and contrast um, the, an old chart and try to modernize the chart and try to make it a little bit understandable. And I took two different perspectives, too. I took the perspective of England, and I took the same chart, the perspective from America. As always, share the knowledge, and you can put comments and questions below. You can even like us. If you like the video, like right there. And do not forget to subscribe because I'm always posting new material. And that's William Playfair, and I bet you he was a party animal.